Welcome to the Monday, April 9th, 2012 edition of Erner Berry's Daily Video, sponsored by Erner Berry's 2012 Executive Conference. Today we'll take a look at our HRI Movers of the Week report, and later how the chicken complex has weathered the Easter season relatively unscathed. Now let's look at the markets with your host, Jamie Chadwick. Cattlefax is estimating that the uproar over lean, finely textured beef is costing the U.S. beef industry $15 to $20 per head in lost value. Furthermore, if the source of lean beef isn't utilized in the domestic pipeline, Kevin Good of Cattlefax says there will be a higher cost of ground beef that consumers will have to pay. Taking the impact on consumers a step further, Oklahoma State University livestock market economist Dr. Darrell Peel says the rejection of LFTB could contribute to the demise of the dollar menu at fast food hamburger chains. For more information on LFTB impact on the industry and other news in the food service industry, please visit foodmarket.com. Now here's market reporter Russ Barton taking a look at Erner Berry's HRI Buyer's Guide, which is a weekly publication dedicated to current commodity prices being paid to wholesalers and purveyors by hotels, restaurants, and institutions. Market prices in both New England and the New York Fulton market went down last week by 50 cents or more. Both the New England sellers and the Fulton sellers reported they have not yet been offered a break on their replacement costs, yet market prices are weak. They further reported the downward trend could be based on the assumption that replacement costs are lower. Last week, choice top butts were down 7.14%. The top sirloin market has lost considerable value since its seasonal peak in mid-March. Prices have trended lower since then, spurred by seasonal pressure and an overall bearish tone surrounding the wholesale box beef market. Turning to the pork market, normally during the week of Easter, ham values see a notable decrease as interest falls immediately before the holiday. This year, we saw little interest for hams in the weeks leading up to Easter, followed by the expected decrease in activity immediately prior to the holiday, which constitutes the 7.69% drop seen here. Finally, in the poultry complex, in the wake of less active food service promotions, the price of three pound and up chickens has declined significantly over the past week. More recently, these inferior levels have lessened a bit, but discounting is still prevalent throughout the industry. Thanks, Russ. To wrap up today's video, poultry market reporter James Zerbico takes a look at how the chicken complex fared during the Easter season. The Lenten season is never a very active time of year for chicken, but here we are the week after Easter, and the chicken complex has seemingly weathered the storm. This isn't by accident, though. The industry has set the stage for these rather sturdy circumstances through consistent production cutbacks. In fact, counting last week, production levels have been below year-over-year -year figures for 48 straight weeks. Also assisting in this scenario has been relatively active export markets. So, while business patterns have performed in a typical manner over the last few weeks, the majority of the items making up Ernerberry's chicken complex have remained fairly balanced, largely due to the industry's efforts as a whole. Thanks James, that concludes today's video. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. This broadcast is sponsored by Erner Berry's 2012 Executive Conference Strategies for the Future, April 29th through May 1st at Caesars Palace in Las Vegas, Nevada. Visit ErnerBerry.com slash executive for more information or give us a call at 732-240-5330 to register today.